I think the wedding patch is out, like the patch they promised to fix the busted wedding pack. I don't actually know for sure if that's what this is, but I think it is. I just went to open my game and it says a required update for The Sims 4 is available, so we're gonna find out together. They made like a laundry list of all the bugs they were gonna try and fix, and they posted that a few weeks ago, and in the bottom of it, it was like, this patch will come in the coming few weeks. And it mentioned how there was gonna be a different patch first, I assume because of the kit that came out like last week, and then we'd get this patch. So it kind of checks out that this could be the wedding bug fixes patch. I will say right now, I'm a little bit nervous about it. I don't know if I anticipate all of the bugs being fixed. Specifically, a few things that I found most annoying were number one, the clothing situation. Your sims would show up to the wedding in their everyday outfits and they would not change into formal clothes. And when you tried to select like a color scheme or a dress code for the wedding in the wedding menu, it wouldn't let you. It would just reset. There was also the whole, you know, small problem of your sims not doing anything at the weddings. For example, you'd try and have them like cut the cake and they just wouldn't. You would have them, I don't know, blow bubbles and they just wouldn't. I think because they were so focused on sitting down for the ceremony that they just wouldn't do anything else. So overall the pack just like kind of didn't work and I've kind of been avoiding it since I made the review videos because it's just hard to use. I did like 10 weddings and every time I just ended up being so frustrated. The first one I ever did, my sims didn't even get married at. Like it was glitched so bad that I couldn't even hold the ceremony. Like I was trying to exchange my vows and it wouldn't let me so the wedding ended and they still weren't married. So hopefully that gives you kind of an idea as to why this patch is so long awaited and hopefully gonna be really good because truly before today the pack like wasn't playable. If we're gonna test this we're gonna need an engaged couple so I was thinking we could get Vlad and possibly have him marry Stanley. Would you please stop that? It's like actually disruptive. I'm serious. Okay anyway I'll have them get engaged. I didn't give them any fancy wedding dresses or anything but that's probably fine. I'm gonna have us move into a starter home in Tartosa and leave us with nine simoleons apparently, oh no. <laughs> I made cheat us some money so we can actually plan a wedding. Right. Okay, so mm, why are there just two options? <laughs> Where are the rest of the options? Oh, good God. All right. Um, hmm. Okay, that's abnormal. You know, the patch notes aren't out yet, so maybe I'll just wait for them before I start trying to do this. I might just wait until they tell me what has come with this because um, I can't go down this road again with this pack frustrating me, so I'm, j I'm just gonna come back in a second, okay? We'll, we'll try again. There we go. Okay, we actually have the patch notes now so we can actually record the video. Simmers, the My Wedding Stories Game Pack patch is here. Okay, let's hear about it. Since the release of the My Wedding Stories Game Pack, our team has been working on a patch update to address the issues you have raised. Okay, bug fixes. Why does it look like that? <laughs> Why is it so thin? Get bigger. Okay, we fixed some issues with ceremony activities not working properly during vow renewal reception and wedding ceremony parties. Sims will be able to go up and down short, medium, and long aisles now during the gather at aisle interaction. Partners will show up for wedding events now. That's, that's fantastic. <laughs> the center park in Maishuno Meadows is now listed as a wedding venue option. Sims will no longer set aside their bouquet before walking down the aisle. Ring bearers and flower pals will no longer refused to walk down the aisle after running any interaction from the ceremony activities. Okay, that's good. We adjusted our recipe for wedding cakes so they should last much longer and they're vegetarian safe, finally. Everyone will be excited for cake and dessert at the ceremony now. Wedding guests and officiants will gather at the aisle properly now. The cut cake with sim interaction is no longer available on cakes that are already cut. The officiants will not just stand there any longer, but will actually do their officiant job. Thank you. I have still never seen an officiant work in this game, so I look forward to testing that. They fixed the spousal kiss animations so they don't bash their heads together anymore. Some curtains have a less dramatic shadow. Sims will react more appropriately when running romantic socials while slow dancing, okay. They added some clarity to the tooltip of wedding cakes by including some more detail about where you can place wedding cakes. Sims will receive the not selected as Sim of Honor or wasn't invited to the wedding sentiments only when appropriate moving forward. Those exist! And I guess people were getting them when they shouldn't have been, but they exist, that's cool. Child and teen Sims can no longer press let's get drinks on bars. Sims will cut their wedding cakes even if there's a cake topper before it just wouldn't work. <laughs> you had to like take it off and then cut it. Now they'll do it for real. When selecting guests in the wedding event planner, it will show all the sims that are related to both individuals of the couple now. And guests won't get uninvited when you try and add groups from both sides. Before, if you like wanted to invite like say your spouse's parents, but you didn't know them, too bad. You can't. But now you can, so that's good. You can invite people that both partners know, because you would think you would be able to. They fix the dress code and color resetting. You can choose which aisle Sims should gather at when you're gathering for the recessional. Sims will actually pay attention to toasts now. Sims with a larger backside will no longer experience their derriere to clip through a certain top. Oh my god. Okay. They made it sunnier in Tartosa. Officiant Sims will now give the wedding couple their full attention and avoid talking to other Sims during their speech. I wouldn't know about that because I never saw an officiant 
she didn't give any speech at all. It never worked. We caught some mischievous gnomes who added super glue to wedding chairs, causing Sims to be unable to get up after taking their seats. That was probably the most difficult bug to fix, like the, the seat taking bug, because you need to tune it so that Sims take their seats for the wedding, but they like made it so they only took seats and didn't do anything else. So that was probably a tough thing to figure out. Like they made sure that they took their seats, but <laughs> nobody else did anything else. So I look forward to testing that. There's some more musical backdrop and some arms clipping was fixed. I can link these patch notes down below if you want to read them yourself. But now that we know about these, I say we actually test it out. Um, Still not certain what happened to the rest of the wedding party types, but that's okay. I'm just making a quick club so that we actually know some people for both sides of this. Maybe he can invite some like occults or something. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of ways that we can get a couple extra people attending the wedding. Cause right now, why does everybody hate me? Oh my God. Cause right now we have no friends. Oh, now there's options. Cause I actually know people. Oh, so I was just overreacting. Never mind. It's fine. The options are there again. False alarm besties, false alarm. Okay, let's play a rehearsal dinner, shall we? And I'll invite everybody and look, I can invite guests from both sides. We'll do a feast, dancing, toasts, dessert, drinks maybe. I might do this at the gnome's arms today at like one. And then maybe tomorrow we can plan a little wedding ceremony. We'll have to pick everyone to be involved, but I'll I'll do that once I make some friends later. We'll do a first dance, we'll have toasts, we'll walk down the aisle, we'll have speeches. I mean, speeches and toasts are kind of the same thing, but whatever, let's just pick everything. You know what? And then we'll try it all. I think we look great. Let's have everyone dress up in polished attire, but maybe let's all wear red. I'm curious to see if that actually works. And then I'll do this at like 8 a.m. at the wedding venue here. Okay, so I guess we'll find out if it's gonna work. <laughs> I will see. Oh, it's a good thing it's cloudy because Vlad would be having a real hard time otherwise. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, well, I'm gonna need to buy a wedding cake and a bouquet. So I think I might go have my Sims start that. You can actually buy wedding cakes from this now and it should work. <laughs> There was nothing in the patch notes about the bouquet toss, except for just them not setting the bouquet aside when they were walking down the aisle. So I don't really know what to expect, but I'm gonna get a couple of bouquets just so I have some options. And I'm curious to see how long the wedding cakes last now because they said they fixed it. Heart wedding cake. Before it had like eight hours. Now it has one day and 16 hours. Okay, that makes me feel better. And apparently it's dairy free. Are these vegan cakes? Vegetarian safe and lactose free? Okay, I'll take it. And I wonder if I actually Oh, please go away. <laughs> I was gonna say, I wonder if I select like, this is my wedding cake, if it will actually go. It doesn't let me. <laughs> Am I doing it wrong? Do I have to have it in my inventory? Oh no. Oh, the attire stayed. Click on a cake that has been purchased or made and select as cake for wedding ceremony. All right, well, how? <laughs> Tell me, how do I do that? I can select a cake topper. I can get a pride one, but can I select it as my cake for the wedding ceremony? Mm, no. <laughs> No, I cannot. Okay, well, I'll just put that in the fridge for now then. Okay. <laughs> Stop fighting with her. We might need her. Oh my God. We are literally gonna have an impossible time trying to have people come to my wedding because of you. Do you understand? This is not a wedding pack glitch. This is just Vlad being Vlad, by the way. Well, should I ask her to be the officiant at the wedding? Do you think she'll say yes? I think she said no. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> I know you hate me, but like, that's rude. Simmering rage? Who are you bitter about? What now? Are you? No. Oh my God. I can't get married to Vlad. This isn't gonna go well. How am I supposed to test this pack if Vlad is this unbearable? <laughs> <laughs> Even still, he doesn't want to talk to Vlad. Oh my god. Well, do you want to be my, like, officiant, maybe? Never mind, the vent's starting. Oh, it's not even a glitch. It's literally just Vlad. That's the problem right now. Vlad being Vlad is the problem. <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna get myself a couple useful items like a dance floor, probably a buffet table, maybe a toast thing. Call attendees to activity. Let's have some toasts. All right, they're going upstairs. <laughs> okay, request a toast. How about a toast from Vlad? Come on. Okay, okay. Oh, he's doing it. And there are people down here listening. Oh, he sat back down. Oh, he's, he's kind of giving a toast. Okay, he kind of gave a toast. Let's eat. Come on, guys. Oh, so one of them, Katrina drank something. Okay, that counts, right? Um. Are we gonna eat? Oh, here we go, they're eating, they're eating, they're eating. Okay, they're eating, sure. Oh, why did you eat? You're a vampire, you should have, oh my God. That's your fault. You should have known not to, you didn't want to. And look, you see how because he's hissing at people, they all hate me? Vlad can't like invite anyone to officiate or anything because he, he won't be able to. Now I'm taking photos with Morty so I can ask him to officiate. Watch, ask to be officiant at wedding. 
Come on. Oh, he said yes. Oh, good. Okay. Um, maybe I can get Victor to be next. Uh, ask to be ring bearer. Sure. Efficient. Mortimer Goth. Ring bearer. Victor Fang. Okay. <gasps> can you be my flower pal? Oh my gosh. Please, please, please. <gasps> Okay, he said yes. I think last is gonna be getting Katrina to be my sim of honor. All right, I think she said yes too. Well, there you go. The wedding party is completely assembled. All right, my party ended, but that's fine. It went exactly as I expected it to. It wasn't that much better than ones I've had in the past, but it it wasn't worse either. I'm gonna need a coffin, hang on. Stanley is in a bad mood because he has to be next to Vlad and he pretty much hates Vlad because he keeps hissing. I'm not sure that we'll be able to get married tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> unrelated to the wedding pack. Anyway, that rehearsal dinner went honestly like about as I expected it to. I, I didn't really think it would be much better than that, even with the patch. There wasn't any game-breaking glitches though, which is what I was looking for. I'm looking for no game-breaking glitches. I, I still expect it to have, you know, your average Sims amount of glitches, <laughs> which is what I just experienced. Did they do the toast? You know, kind of a little we did. We didn't really, but like kind of worked. And it, it like kind of worked before too, so that's fine. What I'm really concerned about is the actual wedding ceremony. I wonder if now I can set the cake as my wedding cake. Oh yeah, okay. Well, it's the day of the ceremony. Maybe I was just too early then before because I can select the cake now, same day as the ceremony. So it's been saved and it should be available for my wedding. I can see it. Okay. Uh, there's no sky. Is this a mistake? <laughs> it's gonna have the woohoo in the coffin, but the coffin is outside and he's a vampire. Get inside quick, 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 quick. Oh, gee. get back inside. Stop, stop. Get, go, go, go. If you die, it's really gonna ruin my video. <sighs> Okay, all right, the wedding is starting. I need to make sure Vlad goes inside very quickly, okay? We need to make sure he's in and out, out and in. He needs to go straight in, he can't be outside. <gasps> Look, okay, so I, I politely requested that everyone wear red. Elphaba here is wearing a wedding gown. Katrina shows up in white. My flower pal rolls up in a camo tank top. Um, Everyone else is looking lovely. Very pleased with, with your selections here, but you, you need to, okay, please, I'm serious, Vlad, you have to go inside, <laughs> okay? I think Katrina counted as wearing red because she's got red shoes, even though her dress by default was white. That's really funny, actually. All right. Um, can I not put the cake there? Like, what's the deal with that? Oh, maybe because you don't have it, it was him. Okay. We can select the arch they need to sit at now. So I'm going to daddy's girl formal wedding arch. Come on, everyone. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. <gasps> oh! And the officiant actually went up to the front. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Okay, here, Stanley, come here. All right, Vlad, 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 Vlad. Send down um, ring bearer, Victor Fang. Come on. <gasps> here we go. Oh my God, look, look, he's got the ring. No one blocked the aisle. All right, are you gonna go back to your seats though? <laughs> okay, and then send down flower pal. Come on, Brant. Here we go. Is your time? Is your time? Come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, look at this. All right, he's not dressed appropriately, but that's fine. Nancy rolled up late. I don't even... Okay, you showed up late too. I'm telling him to go back to their seats. All right, I don't have enough seats. Okay. <laughs> oh no. That's fine. It's fine. I'm getting more. I'm getting more. It's fine. All right, seats. Okay, okay. Send down two Sims. Stanley. Oh, I meant to send myself down. Uh-oh. Okay, well, how about you come down alone first then? Come on. Here we go. Here we go. All right, I win. And now I'm just stood there. Okay, now you. Oh, see, everyone hates me because I hiss. Oh my God, you're ruining the wedding. Things are actually working this time. Look, look, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh my gosh. Okay, exchange vows with officiant and kiss. Come on, come on. So far, things are going swimmingly. Oh. Nothing has gone wrong yet. They actually walked down the aisle. That's really impressive. And look, he's officiating. I haven't seen this yet. Wow, it works. <gasps> The bar is like so low. This is great. Look, beautiful speech from hearing a good speech. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. We're exchanging vows. I thought it was glitched again. The crowd's reacting. We're excited. Nancy's wearing her athletic outfit. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. What? Why do you look bored? Oh my god. Mortimer, this is a big deal. Look. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Ring one. Oh, he clapped. Ring two. Oh, okay. He sighed that time. And we kiss. The question is does it work? Oh, and okay. He's hissing again. Well, besties, we did it. Why can't I send them down together? Why is Vlad not in the option list to be sent down the aisle? Like, well, uh, hello, Stanley, and no one else. Why, is it because I'm Vlad? Like what? Send down two Sims, Stanley, no Vlad. Maybe maybe it's a Vlad problem because <laughs> um, everything, everything else works. Uh, so maybe it's, it's an issue with me selecting Vlad as the Sim that I chose to get married to because I believe Mortimer puts it very well here um, with this. 
this. I think it's a Vlad problem. Okay, so there's nowhere that I can put the cake. <laughs> That's my new problem, is I there's nowhere for the cake. I'm not really sure what to do about that. Bubbles, dance, toast, speeches. There's no cakes. I don't know how to get the cake back. Oh, it's in my inventory. Okay, sorry. Before you had to like place it from the table, but this makes more sense. <laughs> it gave it back to me in my inventory. All right, I can put my cake topper up. I wanted the rainbow one. Ceremony activities, gather for cake. We're going straight to the cake. I don't even care. Come on, everybody. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Look, most of them actually came. They didn't all come, but they most of them did. Cut cake with Vlad. Okay, he took the topper off first. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Careful. Oh, did he cut himself? Oh my God. Oh. Wait, it worked! Oh, Vlad, you gotta get back inside quick, buddy. You gotta get back inside quick! Vlad! 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 Oh my god! Quick! <laughs> Vlad! 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 Oh my god, stop! <gasps> Oh, jeez. Okay, um, some of them are still sitting. That's fine. Let's have guests blow bubbles. We're eating cake. That's fun. Oh, here they come. They're blowing bubbles. Right? Okay. Should we dance? I mean, look, I know Vlad might die if I try and slow dance, but at this point, like, I think I tested pretty much everything, so might be okay. Oh, never mind. I didn't really get a chance to tell. Okay. Oh my god. That took a lot less long than I thought it would. I thought I would have, like, enough time to start dancing or something. Um, I didn't, so. Yeah, I think this wedding went about as well as I thought it would. This, this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Most notably, in my review, I talked about how annoying it was that the cake was confusing and spoiled fast, that the clothes didn't work, that your sims took their seats in the wrong places and too often, that the officiant didn't work at all. Like, today was my first time ever seeing the officiant work properly. And all of those things actually did work. So, in my opinion, this pack is a lot less busted. Like, it's a lot more playable. It's still kind of odd and micromanagey. I mean, I can link the reviews that I did down below if you want to hear my, like, more deep thoughts. It's also still a little bit buggy. Oh, I forgot to have him use the bouquet to walk down the aisle. Oh well, we can still throw it. The last thing I wanted to test was the bouquet throw, so come on everybody! Let's get forming a group. Oh, okay, okay. We're forming a group. I'm giving it to Morty. Throw bouquet too. Come on, stop walking. Oh my god, he's walking. I thought I was gonna be able to do it. It seems the bouquet toss might still not work, besties. It seems the bouquet toss might still not work. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! better than sometimes. He didn't throw it through a wall. I'm confused as to why he kept walking around, but that could have been worse. Yeah, I think that's, you know what? That's a good, a good way to put it. This whole thing could have been worse. Is it perfect? No. Did I think it would be? No. Is it actually better than I was kind of expecting? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I'm actually really impressed the efficient work this time. My expectations were like so low, so I, I got married. I mean, hey, that's kind of a win, right? Even the Grim Reaper got to come. Like, it was so fun, you know? All right, so here's my new plan. What if tonight, I play some more, I test some more, and I come back tomorrow with another video about the wedding pack. I want to get this video out quickly though, just so that you all can like see it and know the update is out, and I'm actually curious to hear your thoughts. If you do some testing tonight too, could you like share your experiences in the comments so I can get like a better idea of what to talk about in the video tomorrow, and I'll, I'll sort of combine my final thoughts once we've had some more time with it. But um, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and with that being said, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. I'm sorry I killed Vlad. I mean, I didn't do it on purpose, okay? It, it, it just was a natural progression of the day. It was bound to happen, okay? <laughs>